Hey there, climate enthusiasts. Let's dive into how wind currents or atmospheric circulation shape the Earth's climate. First up, global heat distribution. The sun heats the Earth unevenly with the equator getting more direct sunlight than the poles. This difference in heating creates air pressure differences, causing air to move from high pressure to low pressure areas. That's wind. Winds move warm air from the equator to the poles and cold air back toward the equator balancing temperatures globally. Now let's talk about the three major circulation cells in each hemisphere. Hadley cells from zero degrees to 30 degrees latitude, where warm air rises at the equator and sinks around 30 degrees, creating trade winds. Feral cells from 30 degrees to 60 degrees, where air moves poleward and then returns toward the equator, creating westerlies. And polar cells, from 60 degrees to 90 degrees, where cold air sinks at the poles and moves equatorward, creating polar easterlies. Next, we have the impact on precipitation. At the equator, trade winds converge in the Intertropical Convergence Zone, ITCZ, causing heavy rainfall and creating tropical rainforests. As for deserts, the sinking air at around 30 degrees latitude creates high-pressure zones with clear skies and minimal rainfall, forming deserts like the Sahara. Temperature regulation is also a key role of wind currents. Westerlies bring mild, moist air from oceans to continents, moderating temperatures and increasing precipitation in coastal areas. Meanwhile, polar easterlies carry cold air from polar regions, contributing to cold, dry climates. Monsoons and seasonal winds are fascinating too. In South Asia, summer monsoons bring heavy rains, while winter monsoons create dry conditions. Local winds like sea breezes and land breezes also influence coastal microclimates. Wind currents even drive ocean currents, affecting coastal climates. For example, trade winds drive equatorial currents, while westerlies drive the Gulf Stream, moderating coastal temperatures. Lastly, extreme weather events like hurricanes and typhoons are driven by wind currents. These storms form over warm waters and are influenced by wind patterns impacting regional climate significantly. So there you have it. Wind currents play a crucial role in shaping our climate by distributing heat and moisture, influencing weather patterns, precipitation and temperatures. Understanding these patterns is key to predicting and responding to climate change. Thanks for tuning in.